I was not expecting this to happen yesterday. Raphael of Hinterland showed a teaser of a pre-alpha build for an upcoming survival game. This teaser is very short and may not reflect the final product, but it does feel exciting to see any news about their unannounced games. The first thing you can see is that Hinterland has made the jump from Unity to Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine 5 is a remarkably powerful engine when used right. The video itself shows a room with a lot going on in it. First, I notice that the word days and 28 tallies are marked on the mirror. As a survival game, this may be the number of days since the event that initializes your survival attempt. 28 days could refer to the 28 days franchise, but I highly doubt it is related. It also could be an easter egg for the franchise, but it would be really strange to put an easter egg in a pre-alpha teaser video. You can hear heavy wind outside, likely from a storm of some kind. The graphical fidelity of the video is exceptionally realistic. Considering this is an in-engine build, that means the game may look like this. Do keep in mind though that this is a pre-alpha build, so some things may change. The room has a very traditional looking style with older house decor. It is filled with rugs, candles, musical instruments, a radio, a map, a lot of post-it notes, and a lot of clutter that was most likely placed there by whoever is surviving here. I noticed that there are two chimneys lit, which is an interesting thing to do. You usually don't use them until winter time, but they may be lit for another reason. The flames from the candles mimic a low frame rate, which, based on the visual effects of the flame, may be a style choice. You can also see the power of Unreal Engine 5 at work, with the realistic lighting and directional light change as the video progresses. Ray tracing may also be at play here. The room does get progressively darker to demonstrate what it looks like over the course of a day and the powerful lighting system the engine is known for. I also notice there are no noticeably functioning electronic devices, which I think is interesting considering Hinterland's other game, The Long Dark, features no functioning electronics without the presence of an aurora. Finally, the last major thing I noticed is the two doors that are boarded up on the right and the back side of the room. We know it is a survival game, but we don't know what kind of survival game it is. It definitely isn't another The Long Dark game, considering they haven't finished the first one. Who's to say that Hinterland isn't going a different route with this game? Boarding up doors and possibly windows may be a feature in the game, but I wonder how important it will be. It could be to defend against zombies or other creatures capable of breaking into your home. It could be to hide from other people in the game, such as raiders. Whatever it is, it must have a reason to be there. I could speculate all day, but it would be a waste of time. We know so little about this game. All we know is that it is a survival game, and it is most likely the smaller game that Hinterland said they were working on last year. I'm extremely excited for Hinterland and what they have next. I hope we get to see more soon. If you want to see more videos like this, or if you are interested in lore videos for the long dark, please make sure to comment, like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Also, if you can spare a few bucks, you can become a member to further support the channel. If you can't, I totally understand. Shout out to my current members.